Hey everybody, it's Odd Job with the uh, Beer Boy Delivery Bike Build. Decided I'd do a little bit more videotaping. Um, as you might remember, we have the uh, Beer Boy bike in its form right now. Uh, okay, I can't shine it over there because it's too dark. <laughs> Alright, anyway, um, I need something to hold the cooler down onto the rack. So I'm going to use this belt I picked up at uh, Sabres which is a clothing uh, donation store that resells their products. I, uh, if you go there on senior day, <clears throat> everything's 40% off. So I think the bite, this belt cost me $3.50 last, uh, last week. So what I've done is I proceeded to cut off the buckle end of the belt and I'm going to use a method to fatigue the belt to turn it into um, a little older looking belt. As you can see, I've started on this end a little bit. Uh, rubbing alcohol on a rag and uh, get the belt soaked a little bit. And then my handy dandy 3M sanding sponge. This is a 180 grit. Um, because I'm not very patient, so I like to get get it done. Anyway, uh, I'm going to work on that for a couple minutes, and we'll cue back in. All right, I'm going to get Dusty to help me out in this next bit. Will you help me out, Dusty? All right. So anyway, you can see the belt is a little lighter color. It's not as light as, as our great friend Dusty here, but I've gotten it fatigued a little bit. And uh, here's how dark and shiny it was originally. So, there's a little bit of a comparison. And uh, I really like how some of the some of the leather turned out here. It's still got a few highlights. One little section in here, it's really nice. So anyway, when you do this for the first time, you're just kind of experimenting, but you know, you can't really lose and so I just gained about 30 or 40 years of wear on this belt and now we're going to proceed I've got a couple of holes punched here what I'm planning on is that I will uh, use a copper rivet this guy right here and I don't have riveting tools but uh, I just watched a good old YouTube and you just stick it through the material, put the end on, get the washer to set down. So I'm going to have to use some kind of a hollow uh, tube that I might have around here. Or one of my favorite things to do is to take a uh, open end wrench that's going to be about that size and use that as my setting tool. And then I may have to uh, set a screwdriver on the top edge of it to drive the wrench down just to set the washer in place. So I'm going to give that a shot and we'll kick back in. Alright, so I'm going to attempt to uh, show this actual portion here. What I have is the rivet through the two pieces of the belt. Don't forget to put your item in there if you need to beforehand and in my case I can actually remove it. There's two holes in the side of the, on each side of the cooler, and these just spring load in there. So I'm going to pull this out for ease of, but in case of a fixed item. And uh, I'm going to try this little system. Always buy these socket sets when you see them at garage sales for five bucks or two bucks or whatever, because you can use them for various things. So I'm going to use this as a setting tool to set the washer down on top of the rivet first and then we'll uh, see if it works. Okay, yeah, so that worked. It mushrooms out a little bit. It's not perfect. Hang on, I'm going to try the, the broad end here once. Great. So we've got that 
washer set and now I will simply uh, smash the end of the rivet down so it mushrooms over the top. All right, so uh, yabba dabba do. I've Fred Flintstone my way through another creation. Here's your copper rivet, and on the back side, the mushroomed, albeit not pretty, but does the trick. I used a nail set upside down so the the rounded off head part to kind of taper the mushroomed. Uh, washer or the end of the river or over the washer. So now I, I'm going to be affixing this to the cooler. And that's just pops in there like that. Then when we get to the the point of attachment, I will have the strap straight down and fastened underneath the uh, rack on the bike. So that'll be our next step. And that's the point I think where I'm gonna probably incorporate a wing nut and screw coming through the wood so I can just undo the wing nut. And this will be my permanently fastened point and the adjustable point will be down below haven't quite figured that out yet of course I can always just remove the handles like I just did so but I don't want the strap permanently fastened to the rack because I'm going to use it for groceries etc as well all right that's it for today's video thanks for watching odd job out